During a recent trip to Milan, me and my partner stumbled upon a site that I had heard people mention before, the San Bernardino Leosa. Just a short walk from the hustle and bustle of Milan's high streets, and the Duomo, sits this church. If you didn't know about it, you would walk straight past, as it blends in well amongst Milan's other dramatic buildings. I'm sure many do pass it daily, without even realising what's inside. The church stands on the site of a middle-aged hospital that was built in 1127 by Italian nobleman Gittifredo da Bussero. This was a time period where the plague and leprosy was rife, and due to the amount of deaths at the hospital, they were granted the permit to build their own cemetery. By 1210, the cemetery ran out of space, and so a room inside the hospital was built to house bones from the overfull graveyard, making new room for the increasing number of dead. In 1269, a church was attached, which wasn't renovated again until 1679, after a nearby bell tower collapsed and caused structural damage. In 1712, the church was gutted by a fire, then rebuilt and called the St. Bernardino of Siena, as it currently stands. But we were here for one reason. Down a little corridor on the right takes you straight to the ossuary. Inside the ossuary, the bones from the overflowing graveyard have been presented in a very beautiful, yet macabre manner. All of the bones belong to the patients of the old hospital, although some rumours state that they may also be from Christian martyrs who died during battle. The whole area is very quiet and gives a chilling vibe that can only be explained by going there. The skulls have been positioned in a way that you can never escape their peering empty eye sockets. And to think you are surrounded by hundreds of bones from the once living was pretty haunting. It's easy to forget that they are not fake and that they really are the bones of people who would have once had families, dreams and aspirations. Although we didn't see it, within the church walls, there is also a basement where mummification of the dead used to occur, and also a family tomb of some descendants of Christopher Columbus's maternal family. The San Bernardino Leosa doesn't come without a few tales, According to a local legend, on November the 2nd, on All Souls Day, a small girl, whose remains lie near the altar, returned to life by dragging other skeletons into a macabre dance. The legend is that the noise of the bones can be heard from outside the chapel. Another tale is that a monk was buried alive in the bell tower of Santo Stefano, and that his ghost still resides there. It's definitely an unusual place, and if you're ever in Milan, I would recommend taking a visit just to get a sense of the place. Walking in and around it, I got a pretty heavy sense, but upon leaving, it gave me a perspective of life that I carried with me for the rest of the day. 